there is a tradition that the guest invites a guest. I had a lot of different ideas, but there's only one. This man has won six titles, and he, for me, is one of the people I truly look up to. So maybe it's time that uh, we can introduce him to the table, I don't know. Nice you welcome. So nice you come. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's great you come, Arno. Thank you. For you, I do everything. <laughs> the ratio of uh, championship just raised a notch. Sorry, Chris, but, yeah, but he's got about six times more championships than me in Switzerland. In, 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 in Switzerland. Switzerland. So. Yeah, but you, you go on with working. <laughs> As I'm sure you will too. <laughs> no. That's great to have you here, Arno. It's a pleasure to have you two on the same table. And, uh, and uh, can you g g tell us a little bit all you guys, like you, obviously you play against each other, but after all your friendships built, like uh, maybe, uh, maybe when you guys went to the Spangler Cup with Geneva, and you, you beat a little Not bit before. before. Well, on my side, I can tell you, my first experience with Arno was uh, Hans Kostman was my assistant. And Hans would always tell me about Arno's system. Arno had controlled chaos. And he made his team work harder, better shape. And it was not a matter for me when Geneva was starting into the A-League. It wasn't a matter if you're going to lose the game. You just didn't want to get embarrassed. <laughs> so it was already 2-0 Davos before you played. And his system is, it was basically turbocharged hockey. It wasn't about playing defense because they always had the puck. It was just about always putting pressure. And Arno's reputation was he didn't care if his team lost. It just cared how hard his team worked and how they played. And that's why the guy won six titles. I mean, he won when there's so many big budget teams and so many teams that played differently and they had so many defensive systems. But he in went that, through an era when it was difficult to win. small village yeah. with um, good OK. I mean, yeah, but, 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 but after every title, the budget, <laughs> uh, and you think six titles, then you are near to the big teams after. Because uh, I, have, have I, have a, I have a quickly a question for you. Yeah. You, uh, because of that, that, that way you played very fast, you always had the fastest forward, and that's something that uh, everybody was feared. Is there anything you did with those players that they skate so hard? Physically, the, like in the off-season or? Mm, no, I, I like skating. I like fast <laughs> skating. So we had a training and, and I like when the training was intensity from one first minute to the to the last minute even game day so i i i, I like this yeah. then at the beginning i was also a coach with uh hold the puck one two two and all this yeah. this uh, thing but but we, we played the first when, when i came to the junior national team uh, yeah. we played I, I was two weeks before for the, before the uh, world championship right. start I, I took the team and then we had a friend two friendly games I don't know the team and then the first game was uh, America in somewhere in Basel <sighs> after 10 minutes I said to to, to my material I told him give me two I need two two jackets and think they are so fast they are so fast 14 one. Two days later, we had the game, same game against uh, against uh, Finland, again same. And then I was in my hotel room and I said, "We go to the World Championship. What we are doing there?" And then I changed. In this night, I wish I changed. I said, "Now stop. We play fast. We, we start to to try something and to to forecheck check hard, to go to the net and and everything like this. Skate hard and and, and work hard. And and then we changed it. And against America, we made one one in the World Championship." And there I changed the thing. But when I w go watch the game, I don't want to see a, a team play defense against defense. Well, that's then I true. go home. Then I go home because I paid a, <laughs> I paid a ticket. I want to eat a, a sausage and and, thing, and and I want to have fun the whole evening. And I want to see also fights sometimes. Yeah. Then like but I can say that uh, Arno taught me my first three words of German. And coaching as Arno, 
I remember looking over at the bench and I saw Arno standing in front of his team. So my first three words of German were, schnell, schnell, schnell. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how he coached. His teams just. But I spoke it more fast, fast, fast. Yes. Because I have to speak English with the team. Yes, but <laughs> he, uh, he definitely made sure his team played with passion and speed. And as I say, you had to, you had to either be, you had to play perfect to come out of the mountains from, from Davos with points in your pocket. You had to be, you had to be near perfect. And as I say, that's, that's why I admire this man and that's why uh, I don't see anybody creating a, a legacy of six championships in a row uh, that this man has done. And that's why I, his, his book is not, has not been written yet. And that's why he'll be back coaching and taking a team in an organization and bringing the, the Del Corto culture back to it. And he taught me a lot. He taught me a lot on how to take the, let the team play with a little bit more emotion and a little bit more offense. But, yeah, but you were same. Yeah, 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 that's same. true. I mean, we, I would, when we have to play against you, I have to, to, to prepare a team. Yeah. You played your style at your long passes, and, 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 <laughs> and, 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 and then somebody's come in the middle, a better uh, retro pass. But, but I said to the team, when you want win in Geneva, please, up against the defender, hard, quick, fast for check. They cannot pass. So and then, then they had sometimes they at the beginning they had a lot of problems, but, but, but at the end, no. Then he he start to thinking what I have to do, yeah. and then I had problems. And then I came, and he so we all the time <laughs> we always change down. problems. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good problems. Good coaches. But problems. I, I also want to say, as professional as Arnold ran his team, he also taught me something else. This is okay. This is bad. When it's your last game of the weekend. Just guarantee you're going to take your team to McDonald's if they win. I've never, that's why in Freeburg we never lose in Freeburg. Just guarantee McDonald's. McDonald's is right yes. up, sir. And, and we had our partner, which he was a friend with, and he would always say, hey guys, because it's been a long week and Geneva's a long trip from Davos, just win the game and we'll give you some junk food. And as, as much as this team had this great culture, clean, he always knew when he could let the team relax a little bit and treat them like men. Yeah. And he had a lot of young guys that he treated like men. Right. And that's, that's why they played. The and, and he organized the McDonald's. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> The other common point of view is you guys are great with managing people. But a little I mean, bit different, like, I don't know from, from my part, but I don't know, you look like very tough, but very close. Like very like uh, emotional yeah, and close to your and, and Chris, you're a little bit like, you're tough, you are close, but you didn't show it as much as he does. Arnold, we're different, but I can say that Arno had really special relationships with the players. For me, I was, yeah, he was tough, but he also had that. And that's something I probably didn't have what he had. He, he could do a complete 180. I was probably a bit more 90 degrees. I was tough and then I was okay. But this guy could, this well, guy. It's personality. It was, yeah. it, he's a, a very unique personality. But I also, to tell uh, another story, I always used to bring Arno a bottle of wine in Geneva after the game. But I always made sure if he lost the game, I brought him two bottles. <laughs> <laughs> so after the game, I'd always see Arno. We'd, it was always good to see him. But it took so me. Many times I had one bottle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many, many times he beat me, so I say, OK. But you beat us in Davos many times also. For some reason, he would, I could never beat Arno in Geneva, and we always got lucky in Davos. But uh, as I say, we always, uh, for the first five years, we didn't have too much of a relationship because I was we always- were yelling against. Yeah, we were always pretty mad. <laughs> and, and I also, I, I'm sorry, I have to say, I get suspended for slamming a door. He could actually convince the league when he was slamming the door, that the door was broken. Not working. <laughs> yes. So I remember one time we're in Davos. He's got a better German than you. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. His German's much better than mine. But he was unhappy, and he starts slamming the door. And I remember the referee was Nadir Mandioni. 
And I go like, okay, like I get suspended and burned for slamming a door. And I go, there's Del Corto slamming the door. So I go down to the door and Mandioni comes to me and goes, so I go there. <laughs> there's Arno. But Mandioni don't like me. Oh, no. oh my gosh. No, don't like yeah. uh, Let's uh, not talk about Rafi. No. You guys want to coach don't, again. Let's don't get me started. <laughs> no one gets suspended for the next year? I'll be, suspended, I'll be suspended before my next job if we start talking about referees. But yeah, so you were like a little bit more emotional with your prayer, a little bit closer. Like I would say, like the coach right now, like in football, you say Jürgen Klopp? Arno was the first, he was the first that I've, I've, I've seen years ago, who was the first coach that created partnerships with his players. And he didn't care, he didn't care if they liked or didn't about the professional basis, but it was always that Arno cared if they liked him on a respect and personal level, because that always transpired in the professional. And not everybody could play for Davos, because if you were not 100% involved, and that's where I changed, and then my success came kind of watching and try to become a bit of a hybrid towards trying to make relationships with players because this is, he was he was doing this before coaching ever had this because back then it was always you hammer your players and Arno always had he, he created yeah, relationships you, you, you have you have 20 players in Switzerland you have not 50 players yeah. you well, have not 70 under, you have yeah. 20 or 22 players so they have to be perfect play hard give everything so you have to you have to do something with them yeah. In energy, yeah. you can yeah. say, okay, you don't yeah, yeah. go. Okay, yeah. I totally so agree with you. this is why I started. Well, you, you have your, always your co player, like you have Levonax, you have like uh, the Czech guy, uh, I don't remember. Mara. Mara. Mata, yeah. like you were long, for and a long time. This was one of the things. I had Mara, Ritzi, Vonax, yeah. the three centermen, yeah. and they. And you keep them. And they were, they yeah. were really. Your generals. When, when I said defense, they made yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. And, and they when were we smart. need a goal, they, 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 yeah. when we lose, then they, 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 they were winners. Yeah. All three were yeah, winners, so and and uh, and, uh, and the, the different Fonax was everything. Mara was a fighter and thing, and Rizzi was defensive, perfect, mm. perfect. I could play again against the best line in Switzerland. He was alone. He uh, this is this was clear. Yeah. You have them for like ten yeah. years, and, and then when you lost them, a little bit, it was maybe tough for you to to replace them somehow. Mm. No. My best season was after okay. I had only Ritchie was when we were in the in the in the Champions League yeah. in the half final, and there I had not Mara, not Fonarx, and maybe only Ritchie. I don't know. Seventeen? No, sixteen. When was that? Uh, seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. 17. Yeah. When we were when we when we when yeah, we. But Ambo we Ambo was also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> clear, clear. But Ambo was different. He is. He goes. He goes 100%. He's, he's, he he's goes, the, maybe he go home and he goes in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs around the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we always talked about, it was always the, the around the league, we always called it the cocktail. That uh, you go to Davos, you drink this this magical cocktail and you just become this Ash CD player. And that's the culture of, of Del Corto. And that's why I said like it was, a, it was an eye-opening and a learning experience for me to come to Switzerland. And if I didn't change the way I was when I arrived, I would never have survived because I had to find a, a balance between who I was and my identity and to, to learn from a, a guy who won six titles. So oh, you definitely had to uh, adjust to the uh, everything, basically, when, everything. when you... Uh, yeah, he was... Yeah. If you, the old saying, if you can't beat them, you join them. And uh, I, 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 I can tell you my record against uh, Davos is probably 5 and uh, 50. <laughs> I think, but the five wins are with Lugano, <laughs> in the other century. Yeah. <laughs> After nothing, I think. But no, it's, you're right, it was always, always hard. No, but it's, um, as I say, and it's, um, it's been a pleasure to, you know, after my first five, six years to then sort of develop a bit of a friendship with Arno and we would try to kill each other for 60 minutes and then uh, we realized we both gave our best and then uh, we always had a chance to to spend a few minutes after a game to talk a little bit, and uh, no, it's a, a great mentor. And a, this is one guy that I always believed. I we always thought after the first couple of years when I was in Switzerland that 
Arno, I mean, the KHL was after him. I, he had NHL opportunities, and he was always very loyal to uh, to his Ash CD uh, logo and colors. And I was very surprised that Arno, you never took that step. National team too. Yeah, the national team as well. But uh, no, but something yeah, but, maybe. Yeah, but I, I, I it's, it, it was hard. I, you, you, you bring the young players to Davos. You, you make the contact. You speak with them. They sign. And, and I, had, I, had, I had one uh, big opportunity with uh, St. Petersburg, and I said yes to St. Petersburg. I said yes. Wow. And they said to me, okay, come to on Sunday to... to I wish you would have left. Thing. And, and then I was, I was, I was, I was, I was not, I, I had problems with my son. I, I started thinking, and then I called them, no, I don't come. Because I, I, I took five, four, five players. And I said to them, we make this, 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 and this, and then I say bye bye. So, but I'm, an, I'm. This was my fault. I should now. I should know that I should go. Yeah. yeah for sure. Yeah, but you were. And in my situation now, I would go every yeah. every five minutes. I would go. But then, I was different. Well, you, were, you were so like you were very true to your player. That's why pre, your player are playing so hard for you too, uh -huh. because they can feel that yes. that you won't, you let you don't let give them give you. You don't give up on them, and that's huge. Like you, you know, your coach don't give up on you, and then you give 100% for your coach. That's maybe part of your success too. But this works only, only 20 years. But oh yeah, but 20 years, years. pretty good run. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years, pretty good. Chris, you said that that Arno is everywhere, but. It, in, in your wallet, you have your family. You, you don't have. Uh, you don't have. Uh... No, but in your in your wallet, you're supposed to keep something very sentimental, yeah. like you know, f like a photo of your family or something. So, I have for all these years, I've always kept this photo of my favorite person, <laughs> <laughs> and I hold it dear to my heart <laughs> every <laughs> night. <laughs> I look, so, <laughs> I look older than now. Then. <laughs> I took a photo that that kind of every photo I have the same thing. So uh, this is the this is the art of the corto that I know. So I I always hold this as my favorite too. <laughs> Sorry, Arno. Maybe <laughs> maybe this game was against Geneva. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. probably screaming about it. Schnell, 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 schnell. Schnell. Anyway, schnell, schnell, schnell. I asked them, you don't want Pete McSorley? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you had them. They had lots of motivation to beat me. But. That was very good to talk about coaching. I would like a little bit to talk about uh, management because you guys, like, for 20 years, you were coaching, but in the same time, you recruit and you you pick a player to to build your team. So uh, maybe I don't like I don't know. You start like your way you're building your team and uh, the way you pick up only way you choose player too because you didn't have the biggest budget too you both are a little bit that was a better budget but yeah but in switzerland it's not so not so easy because you have not so many players yeah, i want the player 195 score a lot of goals very intelligent can play hard is a good team player it's a personal personality big and a winner a winner mm -hmm. so you want you want this player but you have not in switzerland so what i made is Maybe he same little bit. We we took uh, the, the the players. They had problems in other clubs, and you know they they are very good. But when you bring them in in normal shape and normal personality, so you you have a top player. So I took many of these guys, and yeah, they they were good after. They they came good. What is the best example you have? Yeah, of yeah, Kukisberg. Kukisberg, yeah. And yeah, he's, player, he's, so fast. He could play NHL. Yeah, he was fast. Unbelievable player. Yeah. Unbelievable. Also, also so fast. And so, and, and all. But he was I a broken. He was a broken player until you brought him to Davos, and you created a family around him, and yeah, support. Yeah. And he, he was and a he, huge factor. You probably in need that confidence. Yeah. And, you and feel you that. Have, I have a lot of stories about him, and, and you have to, to help him. Yeah. And he give you this back. And he is a player. He is a player. Uh, I, I tell you this. He is 100% uh, integer. How you say Integri yeah. integrity? Integrity. Uh, so so if, I'm, if, if, if I'm today in shit situation somewhere, he, he and I call him, he would help me in one second. Yeah. Not not t t uh, after 10 minutes or after 10 10 hours or after 10 days. 
quickly clear back. So he's so and, and this this was interesting together and uh, it's interesting. more than more than and, hockey and, 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 and more than hockey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah your relationship it's, it's, with uh, player and we're talking about like yeah, more than hockey. And, 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 and he, he he made uh, many games. He, he made a difference. But the way you structure your team, the way you build your team, like you were talking about the three center, that was yeah. like your your it's, backbone. It's, because it's, now and, it and, comes and, back a lot. I mean, and and then you were always too like there's a big thing like you always took young goalie like Healer. He was young. We you put him there. But we have to. Yeah. And then no Reto, money, Reto so Bera and, uh, and you, you saw they are good. And I had a good, a very, very good goalie coach. Yeah. Marcel Coley is, is great. And he worked hard with them. So, uh, yeah, we had also go, have all the time a good goalie. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's true. But you are also a good goalie. So we, when we play against Logano, two good goalies. <laughs> and we won. <laughs> Most of the time, yes. <laughs> but I always find that normally, out of uh, crisis comes genius. And the genius is never really uh, uh, by design, but usually when you have a crisis, and normally the crisis is money, a budget. When you're in professional sports, the blood of the beast is always money. But really over the last, um, over the last 20 years, you know, my history in the league, There's only been three teams that have won the title, and it's um, Zurich, da uh, Davos, and Bern, and uh, with Lugano sneaking in there and winning one title. But the finances are so important. But when you're not a big budget team, that's where the genius comes through the crisis of not having the money. So you got to develop, you got to take broken players like a Gugisberg. I took many in Geneva because we didn't have the money to finance a big, a, big, a big transfer. And you have to find a way to recuperate, rehabilitate these players. And uh, per, there's only two reasons why a player doesn't have a good season. It's professional relationship with the coach or personal relationship whether he has problems at home, problems in a marriage, problem with a girlfriend, and it's up to the coach because a good coach is also a psychiatrist and he's got sometimes more of an impact on this player than even his parents sometimes. You just sort of bring these players back to their, to their former selves is you just have to sort of break down their personal problems as well as their professional problems and move these players forward. But I can tell you, The, the success we had in Geneva wasn't from the big transfers, it was always from the players that we brought in. And, and the culture that you, yeah, you give them. And they find, them, they find themselves again. And the common ground also is that, that you, your identity is really, is really big, like in a way that's clear and, and uh, honest. Or, or, or I mean, for, from the outside, you can go and say, Davos, They're in great shape, they go fast, they go hard, they want to score goals, you know? And they, you go in Davos, first five minutes, you if you survive 0-0, zero, zero, <laughs> you're lucky. Yeah. Every, every team, not just you. I mean, it's, it's a tsunami. A tsunami. And, then, yeah. and, and then Geneva, if you don't play physical, you, you, you're dead, you're dead. And, and it, it's a clear identity that, that it's easy But to after, follow for players. After you have like, you, they give you time too to build. I don't know, they, they, they trust you and they give you time. Now, nowadays, looks like if you, one year you didn't like reach the, the, the goals that uh, the, the owner for you, oh, you get fired, and then you get fired. People like you is going to stay 20 years in one team. I don't think that's going to happen a lot nowadays. We have two legends no? here, for sure. <laughs> It's good for the, was good for the Wolves. Yeah. But, but you need, you need time. Yeah, that's what I mean, that yeah, you need exactly. time. And, yeah. and, that's, and, and that's what ownership and, and you got to understand. Like, it's not because in one year things doesn't go the way that is, the, the coach is not good. Like, maybe he needs time to, he's going to learn from his mistake and he's going to get better and better and better and he's going to build a dynasty. <laughs> it's called many things. I don't, not, not I made this, the players made this. Yeah. When, yeah. when we had, uh, when we had, uh, I, I, was, I was hard in the training all the time, mm. hard, every second, not every two seconds, I was crazy. Yeah. But outside, I was the loveliest guy you can, you, you can have. In the break time, I, I trained, no, you cannot do this, but I made it. We, we trained four times a day, hard. So and many new players, they, they, they were, they were 
special Canadian players. They have, what, what is he doing here? It's not possible. They start to talk with the player and say, we have to go to the coach and, and to, to tell him uh, this is not possible. They think so. <laughs> you know what this player told him? Don't go. When you go, he make five trainings after. <laughs> and they were quiet and they made it. So And then they will come better and better and they say, oh, it was great, this was good. So they have to learn this, yeah, yeah. but you need time that the players can help you to bring to, this. Because uh, they trust yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That was the Davos way and that's what you won simply because your players, you, had a, you developed a culture over time. This is the way Davos is going to play. And, and, uh, yeah, but you also in the, the same thing in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing. You same, build it, and you have the time, and and then and you have results. We to talk too end. much from me. We have to talk from. No, 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 but no. no, talk, no. When, no, I no came, but when I but when I came to Geneva, the uh, first time, B League, A League. Yeah. Then we start. Then we start to let me say. Then we start to 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 feel here is coming something, and then you saw. You saw the, the Geneva, and, and, and in the best years, yeah, people, they were crazy there. They were cra full yeah. house, full house crazy. God, uh, games were, phew, well, you, everybody have to go, over. Yeah. And, 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 and he, he, he great yeah. what he made. This is same like, like I have the titles, he have not the titles, but, but he made the same. Same job, same engineer, no, that's, yeah, same that's grades, true. same, oh, same yeah, grade. It's not, it's not to level. Uh, Chris knows how we we feel about what he's we done in, in Geneva, it, uh, but but uh, I, I think something something that 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 you were looking for is is I'm 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 sure that it's like leadership and character of the players, because you don't have the choice when you have a low budget team and, 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 and to build your team. And then Bozon is a good example. That guy is a good example. Yeah, uh, was great. Many, many, uh, many other. Because that's, that's uh, for Arnold, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like, uh, like, uh, but you, like you, you pick up guys like Rivera in Geneva. Yeah. And then you make him a good I mean, hockey player. It has to do with your, your, your also your background. Because you, yeah. But guys, the, the secret to what Arno and I were able to create, which I think is now going to be missing, is you need administration that chooses this hockey department and they leave them alone. Arno and I were allowed to do our jobs and make tough decisions and show leadership where everybody knew who was in charge. And we were, we, 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 we were, we cared, we were moral, we did the right things, we put the team first, and we had success. And until the minute that the sport gravitates towards where coaches no longer have got control of their players or have the authority to make these decisions, or they don't know exactly who's in charge, when that's missing, you're going to find teams that change coaches every year or every two, three years. And it does not matter if you've got NHL coaches or Mike Babcock or Scotty Bowman. These guys will be fired because if you don't have control over your personnel and your, your, your system or patience, and that was the success of Geneva, was that we had patience with our ownership. And Davos had patience and they allowed Arno to do his job, but everybody knew just what you just said, Christo. Everybody knew when you go to Davos, you go up the hill, you know who the boss was. And in Geneva, you know who the boss was. And now, when you. That's huge, then. And when you get away from these cultures, like. Yeah, the, but who, who work with the player? The coach. Yeah, for sure. Of course. So he that's, should know. He should know and he, he should, should feel, yeah. not only know. He should feel what he wants and how he thinks. So, who, who was, uh, uh, what's the name of the Manchester United coach? Ferguson. Ferguson. Uh, he, yes, uh, 27 Alex. years. Yeah, that's the same. Arsenal, Arsene Wenger, 22 yeah. years. 40 years, Giroud, Giroud in, in Oxford. In Oxford. Yeah. So, <laughs> they had success. Yeah, of course. Because they said, this, this player I want, yeah. uh, Scotty Bauman. Yeah. Uh, all, the, all these things. So, uh, now Jurgen Klopp. Yeah, and every, every, everywhere when, uh, when, uh, when uh, you have a sport chief and he take what he want and then take coach take this. After one year, fire the coach. You always end up, but so as I say that in, this guy won a championship almost every, every one every out of three years, which is an incredible success rate. Yeah. And developing culture and having patience and to develop culture, everybody talks about culture. 
but it's not something you no, can no. find yeah, yeah, or touch yeah. or find. It's not in your it's pocket. A, it's the toughest thing to build. It's an essence. Yeah. It's an essence. So it's gonna be in your blood. It's gonna no. be yeah. So I'm proud to say, you know, I know that's what he had in Davos. I know that's what we had in Geneva, and that's why I could not ever think of having a a more special guest and someone who I look at as a not only as a friend but a, a true mentor. And that's you, Arnold. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers guys. Really. But honestly, that's seriously. Is there, a, is there any common ground between you two that we don't know? We're both gamblers. <laughs> <laughs> Who's better? Who better poker player? No, I never played in poker, oh. but uh, I gamble different ways. But uh, I, can, I can honestly say, when we were at our best, we never care about the consequence. We always care about, you know, it wasn't about the consequence. All in. It was all in. So for me, to be honest, my, my game is blackjack. My name's not Texas Hold'em like this guy. But because I'm always done with poker in two hands because I'm all in. And he's all in. And we don't, we're not, a, we're not defensive. We, we'd much rather fail by taking a chance than to tie or lose the game to save face. And uh, that's why I say, I mean, uh, I'd much and, rather and, be and around I, people. I hate the cards. I don't saw the cards. And I made all in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Yeah. So, so that's why he's... Even the seventh game in the playoffs. Yeah. In the final, all in. All in. Yeah. yeah. OK, it's easy when you have one title. It's easier after. It's easier. When you have no title, it's not so. But I made also the first title all in. My, my, biggest, my biggest fear when I went home after a game was to always think that I really take enough risk or push to take chances to... Yeah, you started with uh, 10 minutes before the end, five against three with our goalkeeper. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that, okay, that was a lot of risk. <laughs> okay. I think you did okay, Chris. Yeah, <laughs> you, the, the results were we never got scored against. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah. I don't know. Six against three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was the best. But actually, yeah, that was a good one. But that was, that's all in. I have one question to ask you. Like, uh, you were always like uh, talking to me about you were um, grading players. You were t giving notes to your player, the way you build your team, yeah. like, and always saying like you you grade like every player in the league and every team has a grade. And you always say like, who's get a better grade is gonna win the championship. That's true. Uh, and can you have like explain a little bit? For that? me, for me, I was always uh, I was never. Uh, an arts major, I was always uh, in science and math. And I was taught by a gentleman by the name of Bob Strum in 1991. And when I went to Las Vegas in 1994, he taught me about the rating system. Bob Strum is the crazy professor. And I thought if I just nodded my head after three months, he would stop telling me about ratings. But for me, it's my crystal ball. And I can sit there and t I, I knew that we were going to win in Geneva in promotion. I knew we were going to make the playoffs our first year when we went LNA. I can just about predict exactly where we're going to finish every year because you rate the team. And it's a numerical system where every player has a number. You don't want to know your number. I know my number. <laughs> you already explained me my no, number. No, no. You but, are a but, solid two. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a seven. Seven is good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was sometimes, it was like, you explain me, say, Laurent. You be, sometimes you're seven. Nobody is seven sometimes, but you're too many times of five. You gotta be, if you want to be an import in the league, you got to be a six every night. That's and, it's amazing. And sometimes you're seven, but you're too many times of five. It's amazing he remembers that. But as a, yeah, yeah, it was a good teaching point. Yeah. You explain me, I understand after, but which was true too. Like I understand, I was not, I know what level I am. But you always, I always assess a numerical value of your team, and that's the way I build teams. And everybody does it differently. But for me, my pillow at night is knowing my ratings. And I, I always attach a numerical value to my players. And it helps you to step back and not get too emotionally yeah. attached to a player 
on their value to the team. And that's how I manage, and, and uh, certain people do it differently. Arnold's the kind of guy where he looks at their pure horsepower that they have at practice, their contribution to the dressing room. He looks at tangibles that other people may not, but let's be honest, maybe I should change my system because he won six, I won zero. But uh, I can say that, uh, no, your, your problem was that you have not, the for, your fault line was not, not enough. Not enough. Yeah, your fault line. So then you changed to three lines. Yeah. And we played with four line and then, uh, then at the end of the game we had little yeah, more. But you power. have to make yeah. the player come to Geneva, it's a long way. Yeah, clear. No, 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 <laughs> right. Right. no, 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 this is why I, I told before you, we made a great job. Geneva, at this Low moment, budget, where they too. are. Yeah. When, when, when I yeah. started when you think about Geneva, it. I played, he, he told this before, I played against Geneva yeah. in, in the, in the over, we, we lost yeah. overtime from the first league to the, to the B League in 94, yeah. 95. <laughs> and not that and far. The Regali made the, the, the Regali, you know Regali? Yeah, he yeah, made yeah, the 3-2. We, but we went uh, one year later up then, yeah, yeah, Lucerne, yeah. but I went then to the Vos. Yeah. But we, I, the, I, they I, were nowhere Yeah, nowhere, absolute nowhere. Absolutely. So this is great, and and I don't. I tell also outside when I before the game I went to, I went through the the, the ice okay ice, ice rink. Yeah. It was it, hockey was was important. Yeah. They were there. They 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 were. You feel it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely. The city was like vibrating and, and, and for the this. And this is for Geneva. Oh, it, incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. 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 No, it's, hey, a, it's, it's a hockey it's clear. town now. Yeah. Yeah. It's clear. Absolute. Oh. Absolute. They have that cute Nobody show. else can This is why I don't understand that, that they fire him. Hey, come on. Yeah. Oh, new ownership. Now that's what, they, they, that's what you, we're talking huh? about. New ownership and the owner, like, he's like... He, he, he get, made Geneva great, Finito. Other people thought, but he made Geneva great where they are now. He alone. Thank you, Arno. It's so, but it's so. It, I, I, you know me. I don't tell. No, no. I don't no. need. Uh, I, I don't need to kick you. Uh, uh, how no, you no. say? Uh, kiss your ass. <laughs> I, I don't need this. Uh, this. This is true. We'll both, uh, we'll both resurrect and we both, I think, still have many more wars together. And uh, I look forward to uh, looking across at you at the other bench and like, and yeah, I'm at sure. The, at the beginning we were yelling. Oh, at the, oh, oh, oh. we did but, not but, like but each nose other. Nose to nose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was, no, yeah. No, 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 both like this, not, not like this. No, yeah, we did not like each yeah, other yeah. at all. No, not not oh. one millimeter back and it was. It was all his fault, by the way. It was never mine. Well, I got no, a, no, no, I got no. a video here. <laughs> <laughs>
the devil saying, I'm not going to live in hell anymore for Arno to not to be in an ice rink. So for me, I, I still don't believe that this man is not going to... I tell you, I tell you something. I, I was coach from a junior national team, BA, first league, second league. I never cared something about press, about pressure. I had no pressure, never. And this is not normal. Every coach, not he, but every coach in the world now, in the football or in the thing, every Friday presser, every Saturday, every Sunday, you lose the game, everybody watched negative. Everybody. Also the president, he don't come and you lost, it was good, see, all the time. So, and I, I had last year, in the last, my last year, I had also pressure. And I don't want this anymore. Yeah, yeah. And I'm happy that I have 40 years, not one second pressure. I was That's also, amazing. I was yeah. also a little nervous because I won't win. You want to win, yeah. yeah and it's I different was, pressure. It's, it's a good everything. pressure, but not pressure from from thing. And they, and they, most coaches, most. Oh, you can see poor, poor, poor. They get, lot, they get lot, like lot, one lot, year is pressure, yes. pressure from above. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. One year is you, you, get you, you, you can be lucky also. to feel that way. Yeah, I mean, I was, it's, it's I a great lucky. chance. But I saw it in the last year how it's going. You feel, yeah, you feel what yeah, other yeah, guys yeah, could yeah, yeah, feel so like every year. You know, for me, I think it's been good for Arno. And, and this year, I'm looking forward to take a step back, recharge, and then go back at it. Reinvent, reinvent yourself. Look at what other good coaches are doing because a lot of there's a lot of great coaches. Come back energized and bring your best as, long, as well as what you've learned. And reinvention is what I'm about, what this guy's about. You got to come. We have the feeling change. that you want to coach uh, Chris. Oh, for <laughs> sure. No, Chris, yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. He's not down. No, for sure. I mean, just pick your city, Chris. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> I, I may have a couple good surprises in the near future, and I'm looking nice. forward to it. And I can just say, Arno, the old saying, if you can't beat them, you, 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 you sign them or you join them. And I hope someday we have a chance to collaborate and work together because I still think you've got so much to bring and to, not only to ice hockey, but I've always told Arno his corporate culture and motivating companies and 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 associations and charities I think you know you, you're a huge you're, you're the most massive sport one of the most massive sport personalities in Switzerland and you'd be cheating this country and cheating the sports culture if you just didn't continue to keep yourself visible and out front no no really. <laughs> cheers, hey, man, cheers. Oh, quiet cheers. now wow. <laughs> I, uh, quiet. I got something in my eyes yeah I think <laughs> no really it's uh So we were like saying like one of we we'll want ask a couple questions like quick quick question we want like trivial like answer so kind of best player that you have under under you for those twenty years and so you can have a list of twenty but <laughs> not, not more please yes. well I I will say certainly I thank Philip Bozon for what he brought for our promotion and teaching the team about leadership. But Tony Samalainen could have been maybe the best, most impactful player I've coached. Yeah, it's all the time clear. Von Arx, Rizzi and Mara. These three uh, yeah, guys. But, three. but, 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 yeah, Joe Thornton. Who? Joe Thornton. Oh, yeah. Rick Nash. Well, you were telling the story about Patrick hero. Kane. Yeah, but, but Patrick Kane was only in the Spengler Cup. Yeah, but what, is, what, what did you say to him? Huh? What did you say to what him? What happened to that to, game? To, to, uh, to Kane. Kane. In this game. Yeah. I said I said to him that that uh, <laughs> Czech guys kill you. And, and they won't kill. They came two when he has the puck, two against him. And won't kill him. And, and he, he stopped and, and went back. But, but it was strange what they wanted to do with him. And I told him, come on, they won't kill you. Show them. And we have no chance. You, we need two solo from you. And he made it. He made it. <laughs> two solo. Two goals, 5-4 sure. for us. We were in the final. So Patrick Kane, yeah, but he was, you know, he, unbelievable. He can drink too. Yeah, see, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but he was also in the NHL. Uh, yeah, yeah, and also Joe NHL. Thompson. You know, he, every, every year 120 points or 110. Or, hey, come on. Legend. Uh, Legend. Come on. Legend. Or Rick Nash, he was 20. <sighs> I never saw a player like him in 
here five, four players he made the thing he was in front of yeah. net Sorry, and ten <laughs> and ten great <laughs> hands yeah, great hands he was so it was unbelievable unbelievable you never I never saw this after and before and maybe I never see this in the next thousand years yeah. so and, and a lot of players Sorry that I forgot some names. No. Yes, I apologize for. And uh, and the worst, like not the troublemaker, the more like well, toughest two to handle. Probably this Laurent Meunier player <laughs> was probably one of the toughest players I've ever handled. But uh, he was my roommate, so I can't. Oh, confirm you that. can you yeah. can confirm that yeah, he was yeah, tough. Yes, I'm with you on that. But um, I can honestly say I've never really drove to the arena where I really didn't like a player and you know c coaching and managing you have hills and valleys with every every player but I, I cannot say that I ever had a player that was my worst player or you, if somebody you, said it to you though huh? yeah <laughs> forget Chris. there's a lot of players who are sitting there saying I'm their worst coach <laughs> but uh, I can say yeah. that no, I, but Bobby Clark yeah Bobby Clark <laughs> certainly told me I was his worst player but he was right <laughs> but uh, I can say that uh, you know when you coach players it's it's just such a privilege to to be yeah, coached. And, and no, maybe you don't and, have to and, say and name obviously. No, no, so, but uh, maybe the, the one player you. Uh, yeah, yeah, but joker. maybe the player. So, uh, you the most pride of, of of what he accomplished from where he come from. You know what I mean? Look, I go all the way back, and I go to the Jonathan Mercier's and the Paul yeah. Savary's and Chris Rivera's and. All these players. Arnaud Jacquemet, I think. Arnaud Jacquemet. Arnaud Jacquemet. Great, great defenseman Ar in the league. But again, we go back to crisis and genius. Arnaud Jacquemet was probably on his way to the B League. Sorry, Arnaud. <laughs> on his way to the B League as a forward, but then he reinvented himself as a defenseman. And you look at Fleur and Randegger, and look at Ganazzi. In, 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 in Lausanne, who's now a national team player, and who were forwards who, who reinvented themselves. And, the great thing about coaching is when you, when you find and you can redesign players and reprogram players to become something different than what they thought they were. And we never have the worst player. We have players that we expect more from, and it all comes down to their core, their character, and their education. If they're able to to want to reach the same goal, we show them the the door. We open the door. We show them the road. And usually it's up to the player to take the steps. And as I say, coaching is, we always evolve and it's our next days are still our best days. And you, and the, someone who you've tried off? I need, from nowhere? I, I need time to explain this. Oh. I, you have time, I, I you should, have all the time. I should, I should speak better English to, to, to tell <laughs> you. Your English is and perfect. then I can tell you I have one. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't want to kill him. <laughs> okay. 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 I, I'm sure you had some great uh, guys that sh went up, but like you have, like I don't know, you took like young goalie like Genoni, like like Ile, like every from, every you, time they were 20 and that, they were uh, NHL. Hiller like, and Berra. Like he had Berra. Uh, yeah, you have like Jonas Siller. Uh, I mean, they were they were. Um, Hiller was I, I think four or five years. And Genoni was seven, eight, nine, ten years. Yeah, then Weibel three years. And so they come. Had, they they come. Three, they were not even. A, I eight, had three, and then Bera one year. So this was. Is there is there a rule that you have to take goalies that are under twenty five year old? Or? <laughs> no money. Money. Yeah, that's the rule. Hey, hey, you have to. You're out. Hey, you're out. No, it, it was. It was. <laughs> you're out. But it was so easy. I'm not a goalie. You had, uh, even goalie coach. <laughs> yeah, but it's so easy. You had in Zurich Sulander. Yeah. Sulander. Great, good great, under. great, yeah. and you know he play again three, four years, yeah. and then you saw Berra and Genoni, yeah. and you know this they play in every team. Yeah. They can start second yeah. goalkeeper yeah, and thing. Great, I only say, I only say, come on, we start with, with both together, because no other chance. We, it was not a great, was not a great uh, idea or, or, or how you say a decision. Yeah, you have to do this. You have to do this. There's no, 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 no option. And even for me, it doesn't matter if they don't are no good. Well, yeah, okay. If you have Who two, cares? if you have two, also it's it's good because they, yeah, they challenge each other. Yeah, clear. And, uh, but Hilder, I 
Yvonne no, alone. That's that's a great example. But I have I had a good goalie coach. I, again, yeah, that's he, huge. I made no sense. Well, that's the same with you, yeah, you with Sebastian Bollier. Yeah. Very lucky. Yeah, because you took like uh, uh, Gianluca Mona, and he was great for for Geneva. And yeah, yeah, Seb, Seb make your goalie look very good. Job. Yeah, Seb, yeah, Seb's Seb, doing Seb's an amazing great. job. Seb's great. That's, but that's he, look, he, he made me look good at no. 40. Yeah. So <laughs> and he was really good coach. <laughs> really amazing good. coach. <laughs> But if there is one, one coaches from the yeah outside hockey, maybe that's you. Oh, hockey. Oh, I mean, hockey. But whatever. maybe that's someone that you look you look like uh, his ID or you look at his style or like not even like okay style, but like humans like human relationship, like something like that. When I was young, Tikhonov. Yeah, yeah Tikhonov. Yeah, okay. And uh, Scotty Bauman. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And for what? For the hockey style depression or for like the Tichon of hockey style yeah. and Scotty Bauman how he, he managed he managed the, the thing in, in the NHL. Yeah. Yeah. And he was he, he was on un, un, uh, he was he was nobody can can kill him. Okay. He was a he was a was the boss. big man. Big man. Yeah, 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 big man in Chicago and he had twelve eleven or twelve titles. Yeah. Yeah. Too many. <laughs> for, for, me, for me, certainly it was John Wooden, who's certainly a generation before us, but uh, what he accomplished and how he built a culture. And for me, I'm always about going into an organization and creating and bringing an essence mm -hmm. or a culture or a, like a, this, this every day a consistency to your organization. So John Wooden, for me, and Alex Ferguson, a Wenger, I mean, for me, I'm a little bit more old school, where I look at coaches that go in, and what you said earlier, Arnold, that you need time, and then once you put in your culture, you have an expectation where the bar is so high. And that's, these are the guys I, I, I so ultimately respect. And that's Arno, and I, I wasn't, I'm not allowed to mention your name, but when I came to Switzerland, that's what you, you had the confidence of your management and administration, and that's what you developed, and, and that's why you won six titles in 20 years. So that's, for me, it's always about developing a culture with the top of your hi hierarchy, where your management and your administration lets the people do their jobs, and that's, that'll be my next, my next step. And when you are long in a team, you don't need time. When you, when you, I'm after, after five, six, seven years, I don't need time because I had my, my top players. Yeah. They know what's going on. So the ne new year, four players went away, five new players, no problem. Because they, they were quick. Because your leader... But if, if I go and they go and a new coach is coming, you need time. Yeah. Exactly. You push reset. And, and, and it's when administration and management are patient and they let the professionals do their job. That's when you develop this amazing structure and organization. And what I want to tell you also, yeah, I had another coach from Chicago, uh, but he was only not, not long, Al Posuhonen. Yeah, Al I, I, I learned, I, I was together with him a long time. Okay. And he gave me, great I, I, okay, I, 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 could, I could go to Finland, to yeah. Sweden, to Russia. He opened me every, also in He was in Bern, right? No, he was in Zurich then. Uh, Zurich, in oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. He was uh, uh, after the one of the first, and and the only European coach said, to be coach in the NHL. That's right. And you, said, right. Chicago. And you yeah. said he was intelligent. Yeah, a very great hockey man. Yeah. Uh, um, Next question is, what's the best show in TV right now? <laughs> <laughs> the best show? It's, it's got to be this one. No. Oh, that's there what we are. More, wine. More wine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Wow! Vous wow. wow. pouvez nous dire ce qu'on a un petit peu? Oui, bien sûr. Vous avez des plats de côte avec de bœuf suisse. Là, c'est donc le wagyu, c'est bœuf australien. Oh, parfait. Merci bien. C'est vegetarian. <laughs> Chris, Arno, thank you so much for tonight. It was a very pleasure. We learned a lot. Honor. We, 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 will, uh, we learned a lot about. Uh, about OK tonight, and uh, always a pleasure to, uh, to have a discussion Chris, with you guys. Chris, get great guest you had. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That was pretty what cool. a great time. My enemy, my friend. Uh, yeah. Great, Chris. Uh, but you know what? We still have to eat, so it's time to say goodbye to the camera. We'll say cheers. 
Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 This is the greatest thing.